بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو کلاس ایٹ دس مارننگ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو پریزینٹ دس مارننگ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو پریزینٹ اور نیو لیسن آف یونٹ نمبر ٹو This is a good time for us to learn grammar, vocabulary and punctuation. My talk this morning is divided into three main sections as we as you know that we are going to learn the exercise of unit number 2. In the first section we shall deal with vocabulary. Let me define vocabulary. A vocabulary is a set of familiar words within a person's language. Vocabulary is all about words. The words in a language are a special set of words you are trying to learn. So here are some words and we have to define these words and then finally we consult our dictionary. So come to the exercise. Exercise is... starting with vocabulary write the contextual and dictionary meanings of the following words the words are conservation first we have to define its contextual meaning how it is used in the lesson and then we have to consult it with the dictionary conservation conservation contextual meaning that how it is used in the context in the lesson keeping safe and then we decide uh, then we consult it with the dictionary that is preservation instance instance incident mean instance mean incident and the dictionary meaning of this word is examples fidelity 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 means faithfulness faithfulness and dictionary meaning is loyalty next word is shield shield mean to protect and the uh, dictionary meaning of this word is defense next word is uh, reward 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 mean prize and dictionary meaning is award now the second exercise of vocabulary is about root words how uh, a root word is defined a root word has no prefix or suffix that is the base that is the base word it is the most basic part of a word a root word is a word or word part that can form the basis of new words through the addition of prefixes or suffixes sometimes we add uh, some prefix or suffix at the end of the at the end of the lesson so you see that make as the question is make as many words as you can from these root words work working ing is added now the new word is workshop workstation work worker works workbook work day workable workman and the second base word that is given the root word is play we have made many new words like playing playground playful player playland played play time play made playing card and play thing so you see that how many new words are created with the base word moving forward we have another section another session of our uh, grammar that is modal verbs our second session deals with the grammar let me define grammar what is grammar grammar is the study of classes of words and their function in the sentence it is the study of the way words are used to make sentences here in this session we, i shall show you how modal verbs are used to enhance the mood of the speaker in english language some verbs uh, some words are verbs are used which show the modality that is likelihood ability permission request and capacity so here in this uh, session you will see that modal verbs verbs which show the action but the verbs which are used to indicate the mood of the speaker or such verbs are called modal verb or modal auxiliaries they are also called modal verbs or modal auxiliary here is a list of all modal verbs can could could have must need must have may might would would have shall need have to or to there should should have able to force will have to allowed so here are some modal verbs and their functions are given let us study uh, uh, these modal verbs can could may might would these are the modal verbs which can which are used to show possibility 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 well, what is possibility possibility means 
a thing that may happen a thing that can happen uh, likely to happen uh, just like we say it may rain today the second uh, category is of can will could or would to indicate ability to indicate ability a skill to do something that you can do something and here you can say i will stand first or you can win the game next uh, category is of must will shall uh, these words or these modal verbs are used to indicate certainty certainty is a general air of confidence a firm conviction or belief certain to be certain of doing something to be certain of acting performing something there just like you can i will stand first the next category uh, which is grouped might might should ought to indicate probability to indicate probability means something is likely to happen or be the case like he should learn the things punctually next come to permission why uh, permission is used permission is used like uh, we you can say that the act of allowing the act of allowing someone to do a particular thing you can come to this seminar this shows that you are uh, asking for permission or giving permission to someone the next category is obligation what is the meaning of obligation obligation is something that is an act to which a person is morally or legally bound uh like you can say children ought to respect their parents the next category is of used to used to to indicate a past habit to indicate a past habit uh, like you say that it show the likelihood the repeated past action that do not happen again or do not uh, happen anymore just like you say i used to read novels in week on weekends now here is another exercise regarding model words some questions are given use appropriate models to describe your three abilities and capacities when you are going to describe your abilities and capacities you can use can may and you have to write three sentences i can speak french i can learn summary of the poem i can see quietly what are you what you are doing the next question is ask teachers permission for going out for going out what you can use what model verbs can you use you can use can or may may i go out please ask a friend to lend you a book would you please lend me your book it is to uh, uh, it is to ask so you are getting permission would you please lend me your book express necessity to get up early you must get up early in the morning here some moral obligation is also done express duty or obligation to follow traffic rules we should follow traffic rules share some past habit i used to visit my grandparents in vacations moving forward here is another exercise we have another exercise on sentence and in uh, and its signs what is a sentence a sentence is a group of words having full meaning or it may end with a full stop sign of intro interrogation or sign of exclamation here are some types which are discussed in the lesson are uh, used in the lesson declarative or statement a uh, statement means a general statement which is given about yourself or some uh, other self it may end with a it may end with a full stop i have a basketball game tonight i have i just finished reading that book next come interrogative a question a question in interrogative kind of sentence we uh, uh, we ask a question and it might end with a sign of interrogation it may begin with a helping verb or with a wh category will you come to my game how old is this man next category next i kind of sentence is exclamatory and exclamation exclamation that this type of sentence shows your sudden feelings about something about some action hurra we won the game what a beautiful piece of art it is so you see that here sign of exclamation uh, is also present next uh, kind of sentence is imperative a command or request a command is here in imperative mood the speaker the uh, the command or request or advice Uh, our suggestion is shown please come and watch me play read this uh, amazing book or you can say you can say the, some uh, advice is given do not pluck the flower do not tell a lie in the uh, last part of the uh, kind of sentence is negative a negation of a statement negation of statement that something is not done she did not help us at all so these are the types uh, these are the kinds of sentences which are discussed again we have another exercise regarding 
uh, the kinds of sentences. Identify the kinds of the following sentences: exclamatory, assertive, interrogative, negative, and imperative. Art is another subject in which I am particularly interested. So you see that this is a general statement about a person that is given in this sentence. So we can call this sentence declarative or assertive sentence. The second sentence is what a beautiful painting. What a beautiful painting here and admiration. A praise is shown. So it shows your feeling. Therefore, the sentence goes to exclamatory category. Exclamatory. So it is exclamatory sentence. Teach him to learn. Teach him to learn. Here, imperative mood is uh, shown that the person is the person is uh, uh, commanding teach him to learn so this is imperative sentence how would i know how would i know the sign of interrogation is there how would i know here it makes a question so the sentence is interrogative sentence she did not make a false statement she did not make a false statement here did not did not shows the negation of some action so the sentence goes to the category of negative sentence In the third and the last section, we have another important topic of grammar that is punctuation. So, what punctuation means? Punctuation, punctuation means the proper use of putting in points and stops in writing so as to make its meaning clear and understand understandable. Sometimes we have long passages, but there is no gap, no pause, which make it tough and difficult to understand. So, we use punctuation marks in the uh, in uh, in sentences to uh, clarify the meaning of the sentence so here some symbols are used capitals are used full stop is used and the comma is used capitals why capitals are used and where capitals are used to begin a new sentence to begin a new sentence we must capitalize it to begin each fresh line of a poem fresh line of a poem means the new line of a poem is also written with a capital letter to write all nouns and pronouns referring to god noun and pronouns which are referring to god they are also written with a capital I to write all proper and adjective made from them the like Japan or Japanese all the proper nouns and adjectives are also written with a capital to write the pronoun I and the interjection O to write the pronoun I and interjection O these are also written with a capital I and O full stop is used why and where full stop is used to indicate the close of a declarative or an imperative sentence when we have to end a declarative a statement we use a full stop to indicate abbreviations and initials like when we say doctor doctor after after writing dr we have to put a full stop the comma to separate words phrases and clauses in a series comma is used to separate words to separate uh, the contents of a list to mark off direct speech from the remaining sentence when we have direct and indirect speech we always put a comma before uh, between them to join two sentences with and or and but and or and but when we have these conjunctions in a sentence we use the comma to separate an adverb clause from its principal clause when we have two clauses in a sentence and we have the um, conjunction at the start of the sentence we have to separate both the clauses with the help of a comma moving forward here is another exercise regarding punctuation you see this extract this passage is taken from our lesson patriotism kaidiasm was a nation builder and a great patriot he wanted to protect the values culture and tradition of the muslims of the subcontinent he gave the muslims a sense of identity by securing a separate homeland for them here you see that there is no gap there is no capital there is no sense of understanding the content so we have to arrange or we have to punctuate and capitalize kaidiasm kaidiasm is a proper noun so we have to write it with a capital q and for Azam A was a nation builder and a great patriot. Here the sentence end. So this is the end of a declarative sentence. So we have to put a full stop here. He wanted to protect the cul values, culture and traditions of the Muslim. Here the list or the words are given values, culture. After putting uh, after values, we you have to put a comma culture then again comma and the traditions of the Muslims Muslim is a proper noun you see that the proper nouns are also written with a capital capitals so Muslims must have capital M of the subcontinent here again the declarative sentence is ends uh, assertive sentence ends we have to put a full stop he gave the Muslim a sense of identity by securing a separate homeland for them he 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 is again 
the beginning of a new sentence you so you have to capitalize it he gave the muslim the muslim is proper noun we have to keep the muslims of m capital a sense of identity by uh, by securing a separate homeland for them here the uh, sentence ends so you have to put the uh, full stop here so student this is the end of our lesson with the hope that you have enjoyed this lesson i am happy to answer any question as we go along till then take care of yourself and allah hafiz